first you're going to need to find a straw tote. I found this one on Etsy. It was $18. I love the size. It's small. It's perfect. I'll link to it below. For the supplies for the Pom Pom M tassel, you're going to need a good pair of scissors, a small clipboard, crochet thread, and yarn of your choice. I chose two different colors, this light blush color and a muted gray. So there are many ways to make pom-poms of different sizes and shapes, but I am doing the most easy and cost-efficient way I can by just taking my hand and wrapping the yarn, not super tight, but definitely snug around my hand. Now I'm going to do this about a hundred times. When you are finished wrapping, just trim the end piece off the yarn. Before you take the yarn off of your hand, lay about an 18 inch piece of yarn on the flat surface below you. Next, slowly take the yarn off of your hands. Be sure to keep the loop all together and in its same shape. Gently place it down on top of the single yarn piece and try to center it. We are going to use the single yarn to tie a really tight knot down the center of your little bundle. It is really important that you tie it super tight, double knot it because this is what is going to hold your pom-pom together. You also want to make sure that single string is long enough because these two ends will be able to attach the pom-pom to your bag or to whatever you're going to attach a pom-pom to. Once you are done, begin by placing your scissors inside one section of the loopholes and begin to cut down the center. Pull your scissors snug and begin to cut all the way around. There's not quite an art to this because we will be trimming the entire pom-pom soon, so don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect. Do one side and then move on to the next. And just be sure not to cut those two longer pieces of string. Once you are done, you will see you have a very shaggy, funky looking ball. To create that super plush pom-pom look, you're gonna want to start by trimming down your pom-pom again. There's no exact art to this, but it just takes time and a little bit of muscle and a really good pair of sharp scissors to get your pom-pom to the perfect shape that you like. The more you cut it down, the plusher it will look and it will all come together. Just keep trimming around the little circle. Don't trim the long pieces and then you will have these really cute little pom-poms. By wrapping mine around my hand about 100 times, I got the size. They're probably about two inches in diameter each. To make your tassels, you're gonna need a small clipboard. I have a four by six size. And you're also going to need some crochet thread. I just picked up white. I really wanted to have a white tassel on my straw bag. And of course, some more scissors. Secure one end of your thread underneath the clipboard and make sure it's snug so it doesn't pull off. Then slowly begin wrapping it around lengthwise of the clipboard. For my desired thickness, I found that wrapping it about 60 times was the perfect amount. Once finished, trim your string. Before sliding your string off, cut about 18 inches of a single piece of thread. Then slowly pull off your tassel piece. As you pull it off the loop, keep it nice and snug and make sure you put it down on top of the single portion of thread. I kept about half an inch towards the top as that will be the top of my tassel and you are going to tie it again with a super tight double knot. Next, wrap the excess string around the top however many times until you get a little bit of a separation and then tie those two pieces together and trim the excess. Lastly, you are going to cut the bottom part of the tassel loop in half. You can either leave it as is, trim it, or if you'd like it to be a little bit shorter like I did, figure out the length of tassel you want and then trim the excess. And hooray, there is your tassel. You can always fancy it up if you like. I kept mine pretty simple and I just threaded the same crochet thread through the top loop so I can attach it to my bag. 
I wasn't quite sure exactly what I wanted, so I created a few different sized tassels and pom-poms and decided to play with them on the bag before attaching them to see which I liked best. I ended up liking all four of them grouped together in a little bundle, so what I did is I just wrapped the excess yarn from some of the string around all of them, tied it in a knot, kept looping it through until they felt pretty secure. I picked the top handle of the bag and secured it on one side by double knotting it again and trimming the excess yarn. The last part is just to add your tassels. I played around with a few different looks and ideas, but I decided to add them underneath the pom-poms. I liked the balance of this all. I did two tassels total. And again, just tie them, double knot them. I don't know how secure everything is, but super easy, super affordable and cheap to make, so I can always switch it up if needed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this fun little project and tutorial as much as I did. I cannot wait to take my new straw bag down on our spring break vacation this week. And I hope that you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week.